Finally able to sit side by side. Not going to lie. Feels a big, big relief, like somebody touched my heart with a palm like this. Huddled close together on a porch swing. Here, uh, finally, I can say that I am safe. These are but two of more than three million Ukrainian refugee stories. Tamila Kovolchuk didn't want to leave Ukraine, but after airports, a hospital and school were bombed around her, her children told her she needed to get out. After an excruciating eight-day journey to get to her son's home in Calgary, Tamila still can't help but think of home and her other son she had to leave behind. Huh? Yep. This is the second time Irina Putstevit and her daughter Polina have been forced to flee fighting, first leaving their home near Donbass to live in Kyiv back in 2014, now calling Canada home, at least for now. Scenes of tearful embraces are unfolding all across Canada, and soon there may be many more. A federal emergency travel program is about to open Canada's doors wide. Most visa requirements will be waived for Ukrainians to stay at least two years. Canadian organizations working to welcome fleeing Ukrainians say they don't know how many are coming, but they're bracing for thousands. And they say they're ready to help make the transition as smooth as possible. Unfortunately, in war, nothing is seamless and it's really devastating and it's really difficult. But um, hopefully together as, as a community, we can at least make it a little bit less um, stressful. <laughs> Those already here are finding comfort in daily calls home. I want so bad them, like I want them to come here to see them and uh, I don't know to hug them. Holding out hope that day comes soon. Lauren Pullen, Global News, Calgary.